let's look at uh, this problem, which is uh, a trig. Uh, this problem can be modeled by a trig equation. So let's read the question. At PP Bay, PPs lie just beneath the surface of the sand. At the end of PP Bay Wharf, the height of tide above the seabed can be modeled by a trig function. Okay. The maximum height, the maximum depth, depth of water above the seabed is 5.5 meters and the minimum depth is 1.5 meters. So let's write the important facts here. So here I can read the maximum height, the maximum depth of water, or the height of water is 5.5 and the minimum is 1.5 meters. Minimum is 1.5 meters. Okay, so let's first write all, all the facts and then we will draw the graph first uh, later. So this is 1.5 meters. This is 5.5 meters and this is 1.5 meters. High tide is six after six half hours after the low tide. So what does this tell me? So this tells me half a cycle. So if you know the maximum and the minimum, so this is the maximum and this is the minimum. So the time for between the half maximum and minimum, suppose let me draw it, the sine graph or the cosine graph. So we're going to, this is, uh, say so let me draw, this is the maximum and say this is the minimum, the basic, I'm talking about the basic sine graph. Okay, so this is your <coughs> minimum. Okay, so let us say this is your, and let us draw the basic cost graph. So where are we? Okay, so basic cost graph may look somewhat like this. Okay, so this is your maximum and this is your minimum. So this is half a cycle. I hope you can see that. So yeah, in other words, what they're given, giving us is half a cycle is, or half a period, half period is six hours. So that information should give you the full cycle, so it is six hours. So the full period, so one period is 12 hours. One period is 12 hours. So it takes 12 hours for one full cycle. Okay. The low tide is at 6 a.m. Okay, so from this information, can we write the baseline? Now, baseline is the average of the maximum and minimum. So this is 5.5 plus 1.5 divided by 2, which is 7 divided by 2, which is 3.5. So your baseline is 3.5, and the amplitude is maximum minus baseline. It's maximum minus baseline or baseline minus minimum, which is 5.5 minus baseline, which is 3.5. So your baseline is, your amplitude is two meters. Okay, so yeah, let us, so let us draw the first graph and then we'll write the equation. So this is, your y-axis, this is your x-axis. Okay, now the question is obtain the equation of the model for the for the depth of the water at the end of the wharf where d is the d in meters is the depth of water at time t hours after midnight. So we want to draw a graph after midnight. So say this is zero, which is your midnight. So this is zero. So this is time t time after midnight, time after midnight. So zero hours is 12 o'clock or 12 p.m. So what what is, so like we know the maximum, so this is again not drawn to scale, this is minimum, this is your maximum. Okay, so let me draw the baseline with a different, say this is, your baseline exactly middle. Okay, so here, yeah, this is zero. Mm, this is a, this is your baseline, which is, how much is your baseline? Baseline is 3.5. So 
So this is 3.5, which is your baseline. Okay, your minimum is, uh, minimum is 1.5, am I right? Yeah, 1.5, <coughs> and your maximum is 5.5. Okay, so we want to start, uh, we want to, dis we have to decide where to start. So let us start at 6.30 at low tide. So I'll write this is zero. Uh, say this is um, say this is 6.30. So I'll write six and a half. 6.30, you don't write 6.3. That will confuse you. So this is, we're going, so this is, uh, this is 3.30. Okay, so that we are going, okay, I'll not confuse you. So yeah, this is 6.30. So you got a period of 12 hours. Say this is you add, this is uh, six, uh, if you add 12, so this is 18 and a half. Okay, this is 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. So middle, uh, you have, uh, this would be, you add three hours here, so you got a period of 12 hours. So this is 12 hours. So halfway, you add six hours, which is 12.30. 12.30 in the afternoon, okay, and this is, uh, 9.30, this is nine and a half, and this is 15 and a half, this is 3 p.m., and this is 6 p.m., okay, so this is 6.30 in the morning, okay, so this is, let, let me write here, with a different color, so this is a.m., this is also a.m., this is p.m., of course, this is p.m., and this is p.m., okay. So we are starting at 6.30. At 6.30 a.m. you have got the low tide. So let us start at 6.30. If you have a low tide from here, you have baseline maximum, okay, baseline and minimum. So let me extend this. And this is minimum. Okay, so this is one full cycle. So if you want to draw the graph, the graph would be like this. This is your cost graph. So once you've drawn it, so using your logic now, if you go, you're going at a period of, this is a step of three hours. So if you go three hours here, back, so this would be somewhere here. Okay, so this distance is somewhere here. So if you go three, and three hours to the left, so this is three and a, three and a half. That is 3 a.m. in the morning. So this is, this will be, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, it's not drawn to scale, so this will confuse you. So let us, let me not do this. So we want, um, okay, so yeah, so what is, the equation of this. So we know the period is 12 hours. So the equation would be y is equal to, now this is a negative cos graph. You know the amplitude is 2, so it'll be minus 2 cos. I'll write 30t. I'll explain 30t. I'll write, leave something here, plus 3.5. Now how did I get the 30? Now, you can use a formula, so you've got one period, so let me write that, you've got one period of 12 hours, so you've got one period for 12 hours, so within 360, you will have how many periods, okay, so for, you can, for one period, you have 12 hours, so for 360, within 360, you will have 30 periods. I hope you understand. 30 periods will have, in one period you have 12 hours, so in 30 periods you will have 360 degrees. Okay, and and that's how I wrote 30. Or if you want to write, use a formula, this is a neat formula for you to remember. A period, this is the formula, very good formula to remember. Period is equal to 360 divide by the coefficient of the variable, coefficient of t. 
Okay, so if you make coefficient of t the subject, so the coefficient of t, which is the variable here, would be 360 divided by period which is 12, which is 360 divided by the period. And what's the period here? Period is 12. So this is 360 divided by 12, which is 30 degree or 30. Okay, now here, if you look at this, yeah, your cost graph starts at, any cost graph starts at zero. So this, this is a transformation here. So it has moved to the right, so I have to put a minus here. So let me bring back my black color. Okay, now there's a, it has moved to the right, so it's a minus there. Now this will be 195. Now I'll tell you how I got this 195. 195 is to make this zero, you're starting, where are you starting? You're starting at 6.5. So let me get my calculator out. It's a bit logical, a bit difficult to understand. So you go to menu. So you're starting at 6.5. So what is 30 times 6.5? 30 times 6.5 is 195. So to make this zero, and you are starting at 6.5 because your your cost graph, your basic cost graph starts at zero. Okay, so and that's why I put minus 195. We'll check this on a calculator. Now you may wonder, suppose if you go three and a half hours, so this is how many hours? So this is three hours. Suppose if you go three and a half hours before this, suppose if you start. So this is say three and a half hours. So three thirty a.m. Your graph would be here. Okay. Suppose someone is starting the graph here. How would the graph look like? So the graph. And again, if you go three and a half here, uh, so this will be. If you go, this is not drawn to scale, so this will confuse you. So let me not confuse you so I'll not do this now for a while so this is your cost graph and we want to confirm this on the graphic calculator so let us graph this so your equation you go to menu and you go to graph okay and before you graph you have to change your settings to degrees and then I'll type in the equation but the equation was what was the equation is minus two cos. So let me bring back my calculator. It's minus two cos bracket 30 X minus 195 plus 3.5. Okay. And we need to change the scale. I'll go from zero to 24 hours. So we'll do one full day sorry, do not 240, 24 hours, and the scale of three and a half hours. Oh, sorry, so you're dividing into, divide by four. Oh, sorry, this is dividing, uh, what was the, 12 divided by four is three, sorry. So yeah, this is, I'm going to divide by, in 12 divided by four is three and uh, I want to go from 0 to 6 scale of 0.5 would do and then draw the graph so this is two this is one full one full day so we are uh, we saw the minimum is at six and a half hours so GSOL and minimum so yeah get minimum at six and a half hours and after your maximum should be uh, 12 and a half hours, okay, 12.30, so GSOL maximum. So this is confirmed, okay. So this equation is fine. So if you, you can also write this as a sine graph, you can also write this as a cosine graph. So if you're starting at a baseline, okay, so let me, it's not drawn to scale, it doesn't suppose, the, if you go three and a half hours, here, yeah, this is not drawn to scale, so this is three and a half hours, sorry, three hours to the left, so this will be baseline here. Yeah. Suppose if someone draws the graph this way, this will become a 
sine graph. So this is minus sine. So this equation can also be y is equal to minus 2 sine 30x 30t minus what? Plus 3.5. That will not change because your baseline and amplitude is not changing. So here you're starting at 3.5. You're starting at 3.5. So I'll use my calculator. So I'll check like this menu and run. So 30 times the starting point is 3.5. So minus times 3.5 is 105. So here, if I type in minus 105, this and this are the same graph. So this is from here, it's a minus sign graph. And from here, it's a plus minus 2 sign. Okay, so let's check that on the calculator. So if you press type in, so menu graph. So this is your first graph. And if you type in minus 2 sign, 30x minus 105 plus 3.5. Both will be the same graph. That's what we are seeing. Can you see both the graphs are the same? It draws the same graph. So JSOL minimum. Oh, so you have to delete one of the equations. So let us delete this and then draw it. So JSOL and minimum 6.5 and JSOL maximum at 5.5. So let's answer the questions now. So here, so we have written the, we have done the first question, so this is done. So use your model to find the depth at 2 p.m. So 2 p.m. on this graph is how many hours? This is 2 p.m. is 18 hours. So let us first use the, cal, uh, use. so this is 18 hours. So this is 18 and a half, so 18 would come somewhere here. Okay, so my graph tells me at 18 hours, your height should be somewhere above 1.5. So this is, this is 18 hours, roughly. And this is, at 18 hours, what's the height? So it's above 1.5. So let's use the calculator. So GSOL, and we want to find the y. Okay, so you type in 18 there, so it is 1.57. Okay, 1.57 is the height at 2 p.m. So using the calculator, so I can say this is 1.57 meters. It does make sense. Okay, pp's can be gathered when when the tide is less than 3.5 meters deep at the end of the wharf. What's the earliest time? Okay, now I didn't answer this question, sorry. So this answer, 1.57 is for this. So 1.57 is for this. Use your model to find the depth of the water two hours after the high tide. So when is the high tide? The high tide is at 3.30 a.m. So this is 3.30 a.m. You can use this or this high tide is at 12.30 p.m. So let us do this. So if you go two hours from this, so 3.30 a.m. plus two hours will give you five, oops, sorry, this is not the high tide, so let us take this. So 12.30 plus two hours is 14.30, okay, or 14.5. So 14.5 would come where? This is 12, and say so roughly 14.5 would come here. Okay, so this is my guess. So this would be this number. So this is 14 and a half hours after high tide. So you get high tide at 12.30, so this is 14. So this would be around five point something. So let's use again the calculator. So JSOL, and you want to find Y at, so this is 14.5. So 14.5, exactly at 14.5, it is 4.5. Does it make sense? Yes, the answer, this is 4.5. So here the answer would be 4.5 meters. 
And finally, pipis can be gathered when the tide is less than 3.5 meters deep. What is the earliest time of the day that the pipis can be gathered? So, so this is 3.5, so this is at 3.30, you can, from between 3.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. Can you see? Your height is less than uh, between 3.30 a.m. and 9.30, you can pick up the PP. So you can say 3.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. You can pick up the PPs.